He said, nobody taught him how to play. He said, what he used to do, he used to take his violin, he said, because the old Indians always said there was music in the air. So he used to go out in the woods with his violin and he used to play. He said, you could hear that music and he could play violin. That's where he learned music from the woods, he said, from the trees. How many children did you have? I had 20. Yeah, I don't know how many have I got living now? 14. 14. I should have been a drum player, you know, beating the drum instead of being a violin player. Because I'm so close to being a full blooded Indian. And there's the proof right here, that's my grandmother. She is a registered ward of the government, full blooded Chippewa Indian. What he done, he put porcupine quills inside the box of the violin. And um, he put a deer bone up here at the neck for the um, strings to rest on. Got Indian medicine on there, he said. And never, nobody could ever touch that violin when he was living. He was yeah. real particular yeah. about that. We have different fiddlers from all over the place because powwows attract people from like all over the area. So you oh, usually can just call people from the audience and they'll come up and play. Okay, folks, here we go. There's a trick to being a step dancer, too. That's between the fiddler and the step dancer. You almost have to read your minds. The vibes have to be working through it. one another. I can speak the language, and I can relate good with the people there. A lot of them are my relatives, and they really enjoy it. It doesn't take very much for them to get back in the groove, you'd call it, I guess, because it's the type of music they were used to when they were growing up. He said his grandpa showed him how to play the Red River Jig. Well, that's got to be at least 200 years old, Red River Jig. It's like I could feel them around me, I don't know. The older fiddlers that passed away, my, well, my uncles and my, uh, my cousins and my grandfathers and the other old fiddlers in the mountains here. 